then you ain't gotta play too much with your lace. You can just cover them up like these. <laughs> just do like these. Friend, just do like these. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen and everybody in between, I am back with somebody else's hair and guess what? It is wine and wig stay. Clink, 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 clink. Mm. I'm gonna keep playing in y'all face, huh? Cause ain't no wine in this cup. It's green tea. I actually got some green tea in there though, not backwash. Y'all know I love to drink backwash. How are y'all doing today? Hopefully you're doing well. I'm doing fantastic. Cause look at this scalp I got on my head. I done borrowed it from some other girl. She's scalpless right now. This is like a new type of wig that the girls have been playing with. And I can't wait to get into it. But before we get into it, can you hit subscribe? And can you hit the post notification bell just so you can see Plus my mouth watering. I need to get that checked out. Just so you can see every single time I post because I'm coming to you every single week with brand new scalps, wigs. Check it out. Check out the channel. Take a browse around and tell me what you think. Okay. Now let's go ahead and get into this hair. I want to say thank you to You Nice Hair for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this video. This wig on my head, like I said, she's a new innovation. This is not only a 13 by four, a 13 by four kinky curly lace frontal wig, but it has kinky curly edges. It's 20 inches long. 150% density and if you pop the hood on this wig, of course, when you looked inside the cap, you see there are three combs, adjustable straps in the back, and it comes with a piano key elastic band, so you're able to wear this wig glueless if you are so blessed. When I received this wig, it came in the gorgeous curly texture and like I said, it has the curly edges. I wouldn't call these kinky curly edges. I, got, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, y'all know. I don't call them kinky curly, they're more of a curly edge i put a little gel on them and kind of messed them up but here we go let me fluff these girl i've been fluffing them up all day come on girl come out to play i do love that they're curly at the it's curly at the roots and you ain't got to play too much with your lace you can just cover them up like these <laughs> just do like these friend just do like these if you do want to see everything i did to apply this wig and get this wig to look like this and everything that I did and what she looked like after bleaching the knots, all that type of stuff. Please keep on watching and I'll be back at the very end with my final thoughts and a coupon. Okay, y'all, let's go ahead and get started with this wig. First, we gotta do the base. I told y'all I like to do a really, really quick wig installation at this point in my life. Okay, it's 2023, we're not playing them games. So first I put on my wig grip, bam. Ooh, that's too tight. And then I put on my wig cap. <laughs> you don't have to do your ball cap method. Just plop this on, put the wig cap over it, girl, you're done. What, what gets better than that? Look at it. <sighs> Those curls are stunning. There's no mousse on it. It's just been washed and conditioned and that's it. <gasps> oh, the part is perfect. Girl, I ain't gotta do nothing, baby. I'm trying not to do nothing to this wig. That's what I'm trying to do. <sighs> nothing. I'm gonna have to do something because y'all know how I like to clump a curl, but look, this is what it's giving. I bleached the knots and washed the hair on this wig. So I think I want to wear this part. Like, y'all know I love an off-center part, and the Lord done blessed me with a natural off-center part. You see that? Okay, so next, I'm going to go ahead and tint the lace on this wig. As you can see, this wig's lace, it seems like it will blend in okay, but I'm not playing those games. Next, we get to tint our lace. I'm going to go ahead and use... The Flawless Illusion by Kellen Derrick Lace Tint Spraying the Color Medium Brown. So you can do one of two things. You can spray it directly onto the lace or you can spray it <clears throat> onto the brush. I can spray it onto the lace. Just like this. I also can spray this onto the brush a bit. I can apply it and spread it and distribute it evenly all over the lace. Especially on the front because that's where it's gonna, it's gonna show all your, is it show your tea? Tell your tea? So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it like so. I think it's saturated all the way through but I'll turn the wig back inside out and I will just hit the front of the lace. I don't even know if this makes a difference, but this makes me feel better. Like I did something, you know? 
this lace tint recommends that you use a blow dryer on high and the warm temperature not too hot just warm to set it so we're gonna do that Ooh. so i want to try back on the wig and i want y'all to see the huge difference that i was talking about like come on this looks like it's gonna blend right the freak in uh like you see how these edges look they're so pretty they look so realistic i want to keep it curly so we're gonna go ahead and cut the lace and we can apply the wig I want this wig application to be so easy. You blink, it's done. I'm gonna cut my lace from the ear tab. Typically, I like to cut my lace from the center, but I've been noticing the ear tab is just so much better, so. Ooh, girl. I really just cut, I cut a piece of hair out, oh no. I was watching Arnell's wig video and she was saying she cut her lace too close to her hairline and I'm like, is that a thing? Because girl, the way I cut my lace, it be right up on, it be right up on the hairline. It be right up on it. Okay, boom. Lace is cut, very easy, very simple. Now all we have to do is apply. Now at this point, you can definitely use your piano key elastic band if you want to wear this wig glueless. My head is small. Oh, scalp be flapping. Flying away in the wind, I can't do that. If I don't lay down my lace and spray it down and get her secure, my wig gonna end up in your backyard. And what am I do? What, what I'm gonna do then? What I'm gonna do? Girl, it's in your backyard. You done mowed it down. <laughs> now we get to go ahead and apply our wig. Y'all, this is going quick and easy. I don't know. I don't know. We're gonna go ahead and take our Eben New York Wonder Lace Bond in, I was about to say like it was a color, in the black hand. Like I told y'all before, I spray it like bug spray. I just spray it everywhere. I'm gonna take a little bit and I'm gonna work in sections, right? Tiny sections so i put a little bit on the forehead i'll do the middle section and on the side so when i use this even lace front i don't use glue because i like to take off my wigs at night anyways i'm just gonna apply it all over the forehead then we're just gonna let it stick after this so i'm just gonna let this dry for a second i do two layers because i like a really really good secure hold just in case somebody trying to trying to try something girl ain't nobody in this house but my man and he'll be pulling my wig so i don't know what i'm talking about when i do two layers it's extra secure you just have to be careful when to apply this and i don't want it to be too close this is always like the challenge right here when to apply oh baby my forehead looking small ain't it oh and square. I need to pull this back some because that's a little bit too close. Like I'm not comfortable. <laughs> I'm uncomfortable. So I'm gonna use this comb. The comb at the end of my dirty baby hairbrush, girl. It looks like I've been digging in flower pots. <laughs> oh, I think it's down though. Oh, you see that? Oh, the wig is applied. It is secure, girl. I like to do a real good. Oh. Oh, that tub test was a lie. <laughs> oh man, now I gotta redo it. Okay, so I'm gonna redo it. That came right on up. What? Man, where's the towel? Oh no, I'm in crisis. I'm in crisis. <laughs> Friend. Oh girl, this is about to be a mess. Oh, okay, let me try it again. Girl, this is gonna have to be close. Maybe this is a blessing. God was like, girl, make that forehead. Usually it'd be seamless. I'd be just being, having a good time in here, but not today. Oh, the wig is trying it today. Oh, yes, she is. Oh, this is cutting too close. <laughs> oh, all the realizations are coming right now. I'm not doing another tug test because I'm not playing those games. The tug test be cute until you tug it off. And then I'm like, girl, well, why did I do that? So I gotta reapply up here. So we're gonna start, we're gonna do the sides. I need to concentrate because obviously I'm running my mouth and having the time of my life and my edges are just not into it. What is going on here? Edges all out, girl, what? It's gonna turn out cute though. I always make some shake, but this is like, it's not shaking, it's tremble. 
I'm gonna do the other side and then and then we're gonna get to styling and profiling. Don't worry about it, we got this. So the wig has been attached <laughs> velcro girl stuck it looks pretty good as you can see like look at the hairline it's giving a little bit ashy but that's okay we can fix that a little bit later like my hairlines are always like a little ashy I think it is because I cut my hairline too close maybe but either way girl I'm not worried about it because that's what makeup's for we can keep the hair just like this and be done I literally this can just be it I'm about to do my baby hairs. So the great thing about this wig is that they already cut your baby hairs for you. So you ain't gotta worry about that. All you need to worry about is laying the baby hairs down right. So I'm just gonna pick the baby hairs that I wanna do. Oh, this is so convenient. I don't know what it is about cutting baby hairs, but cutting baby hairs is annoying. Don't know why. Ooh, see that? Ooh, that's a good baby hair. Good density, good length. I think I may cut it a little bit though. Let me pin this hair back because we want to make sure these baby hairs don't get lost in the sauce. And I'm going to use my baby hair brush and got to be glued gel. We're a got to, it's a got to be glued gel day. And I'm going to go ahead and lay down these baby hairs. Take this little piece and I think I do want to cut it down just a teeny tiny bit because I don't like it too long. So I'm gonna cut it right there. And I'm gonna take take the gel. Oh girl, this thing is gonna scratch my forehead up. Does your baby hair brush get like crusty and hard? <laughs> I'll be scratching my head up. And we're just gonna lay them down. Wow, I like these. Okay, I see you baby hairs. I see you. I'm gonna take this side and I'm just gonna do like a little swoop dee doo like swoop it back or something because i didn't want this part to be like this part i want to brush back like that oh very cute love it love it exactly what we're looking for yes 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 nice 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 nice, nice. <laughs> shout out to rocks oh this is very pretty we like it and i want to go ahead and set that baby here with a little bit of the spray i put some on my finger i let it get sticky and then I just swipe it with my fingertips. You see? I feel like that's good. What you think? What you think, friend? You like it? I like it. Okay, now we're gonna do a baby hair down here. Now these are gonna be fairly easy because look at them. This side I already laid this one down, so I ain't gotta worry about that. But I want these to be like a soft lay down if I can. But these ones, just aren't the same on this side. They're a little bit shorter too. Why is it flipping back into my earlobes? <laughs> like what's going on with you girl? <laughs> okay, and that's complete. Now all I'd like to do is get those edges. I still want them to curl, so I wonder if I can get them to curl up a little bit, but I'm just gonna add a little bit of gel on the edges just to Add a little bit of sheen. I just want to see those curls. Move those for a little bit. So we're going to do the same thing on this side. We're going to add the baby hairs and then we're going to get to forming these curls. So the baby hairs are done. This is giving <laughs> handlebar mustache. <laughs> I'm going to melt it just a little bit to see if I can improve how uh, the edges is looking right now because it's giving very much, it's giving the halo. I don't know what I'd be doing to get that halo friend. I don't. I'm gonna take my rapid strip and I'm gonna tie it in the back. Where my elastic band at? I know I got an elastic band. Did they give me one? I'm gonna take our elastic band and put it over top, but I'm not completely doing the full front. I'm just doing where the lace is. So I'm just gonna put it right here to see if i can melt that lace on down let this hair down okay next we're gonna go ahead and do 
our kinky curly ends. Ah, okay, so we need to go ahead and define these curls. I wanna see how the curls can actually pop, pop with a little bit of moisturization. So we're gonna go ahead and use uh, two mousses. I'm gonna use my Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Frizz Free Curl Mousse and my The Do Mousse from, I forgot what the brand is, but I put some of it, I diluted it with some purified water because that stuff is thick and rich. It don't need to be that thick and rich. So I'm gonna be using both of these products and my Evolve 572 brush to get these curls together. But I'm wondering if I'm gonna cut this first. The lighting has changed. I do feel like I need to trim these ends because the ends are a little bit puffy. I don't know if you can tell, but the ends are puffy. So it needs to be just a tad bit bouncier. So what I'm gonna do is take the hair as I always do. You already know how I cut hair. No rhyme or reason, just vibes. It's vibes over here. <laughs> ends, pull them together and just cut across. Already better. And I only cut off, I wanna, how much is this? I cut off a little bit, maybe two inches. I'm just gonna take a little bit of hair on the front and I'm just gonna trim it just a little bit. You see how those ends look? I just want a little bit of a trim, like not even a cut, just a trim. Just a little bit. I take the hair on the top and on the sides and I like to take it up front and then cut it on down. And that's it, that's all we doing today. Girl, I'm not playing, I'm hungry. Okay, so next, we're gonna go ahead and define these curls. Like I said, I'm gonna use three products. The Dew Mixed With Water from Mousse Def. Yes, that's what it's called. And the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Frizz Free Curl Mousse. We're gonna use both with the Evolve 572 brush. So for this one, I'm actually working in larger sections because I cannot be bothered, baby. I cannot be bothered. I'm only going to define the hair at the front and sides, the areas I just cut, but this part can just be moisturized just a little bit on the ends to give that definition. So I'm just gonna separate the hair like this, and I'm just gonna work from the bottom to the sides. But I'm gonna twist this together. Oh, oh. When I'm adding the mousse to the hair, you do not have to go through every strand for it to look good. Like, I really just don't have to do that. But I be doing that. And it's like, why, girl? You hungry. I'm gonna go ahead and take some of this uh, mousse stuff mousse, and I'm gonna concentrate on the ends. Oh, oh no. Good slip on this product. Oh, I love it. And then I like to take my of all 572 brush and work through those curls on the ends. There we go. Oh, you see how pretty that is? Oh, baby. Oh, yes. So that works for the ends. I'm not moving up to the top because the further up I move, the longer it takes to dry. And it, um, and I think it's pointless. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I think that was all I had to say. I wonder if getting, these most, getting this mousse on my pants is gonna ruin my pants. I hope not. I don't think so though. I hope not. I'm just gonna add it into the hair, work up a little bit, and detangle. Just on the ends, it's a little hack. So I'm gonna let that dry down, and in the meantime, we're gonna go ahead and do the top. The top areas, I am gonna work in sections because I do want this, these areas to be defined. So I'll just do two sections on this side, maybe three, and then the same on the other to define these curls, but this is where I want most of my definition. So I'm gonna use my Shea Moisture Mousse up here because it's less messy. See, it's really easy. Wow, wow. And I'm just gonna do this throughout the head, so. Let's keep working, let's keep going.
this is the finished look. Ah, oh, look at it. Oh, look at the curls, so pretty. They're really, really soft. I actually was surprised because I thought, I thought the curls weren't gonna bounce as much as they did, but wow. And I feel like this hair can get bigger. Like it just looks amazing. It's giving a little bit of a braid out and I love that, but the best part, girl, is this hairline, hold on. Like look at this hairline. You see those like curly pieces? I kept trying to curl them up. I'm trying to pull the curly pieces out. There they go, hey girl. Look at those little curly pieces. I just love that. Can you see them? If you wanna move, wear your hair up, you can have a little bit more of something, something like that you can pull down. Now some of these, this baby hair down here, girl, I did too much. Oh, there they go. Oh, look at them thriving, so cute. Love that about this hair. The hair is super soft, super bouncy, and the hair that I received is super dark. Like this is dark hair. I had to darken up my eyebrows a little bit because I was like, girl, you gonna look like Whoopi Goldberg. Shout out to Whoopi Goldberg. All this hair needed was a little bit of mousse and a little bit of drying time and it really looks amazing. I also love the parting space here. After bleaching the knots, I didn't have to add any concealer or anything on the part to deepen it up. So the parting space is really, really nice on this as well. Those were all my pros. What are my cons? I wish the edges were a bit curlier. If it was a little bit like they curled a little bit more towards the roots, oh, be perfect. But it's hard to do once they're really short, but if it was like a tad bit curlier to where we could really get the, get the vibes, I would love it. Just, but you see how curly they are now. If you're not a person that needs, that likes to bleach knots, I do think bleaching the knots makes this way it look, takes it up to another level. So if they did bleach the knots, girl, it'd be over for y'all. <laughs> it'd be over for us, but, <clears throat> And let me show y'all the back. Let me see. All this hair, baby. Look at that. Baby, that is a... Oh, that's a lot of hair. I feel like Joan on Girlfriends. It, it gives me girlfriends. We can be very versatile. You can wear it up. You can wear it down. You can wear it sideways. <laughs> you can do whatever you want with it. Anyways, so everything with this wig, I want to say thank you to You Nice Hair for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this video. I will leave a link for this wig as well as a coupon code down in the description box below because y'all know I'm not sending y'all out the door without a coupon code. We don't do that around here, not in 2023. But I'll leave the coupon code down in the description box below for your using pleasure. That sounded weird. I'll leave the coupon code down below for you, girl. <laughs> Anyways, I love you all. Thank you so, 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 so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Oh, I had too much salt today, so I needed it. <laughs>